Nana Kunedu and the future of NDC. Would you, as a person? I think, I think it's unlikely she would come back to NDC. Uh, but so, oh, oh, yeah, extremely you unlikely. But a bit pinned on I mean, I, I'm one person. See, we can politics is about numbers. We can have, we can have many people join our party, as long as you toe the line and you don't <laughs> try to undermine the party's a uh, sovereignty or try to disturb the peace. Because a, a dumpy, a sacrifice. People have died and gone working for NDC. Sometimes campaigning, when you accident, we, we, they never saw any, you know, joy in being with the party. Just hard work and some people have passed on. And he said, Obipa, let's support the party in here, Rafa. Mm. Now I think about those people that you've lost your life for nothing. And we won't, we won't let these ones do what they are doing, misbehave. No, 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 no. We have some party at your I'm not somebody who's like hungry, I'm not for power or selfish in my behavior. I've always been consistent around the party. And to say leadership you know, or executives or appointees be one the AB in three years. Let's say we have to talk, we will talk. Mm. We will talk and make sure that we do what is right. I'm not going to do the party in my NDC. Time now, I stand for against Atamel Sino. A sitting president, you want to contest him. I'm president. It's okay. So many people try to discourage her. She won't listen. So we want to. You saw the outcome. You saw the outcome. She only had 120 votes. Out of? Out of, uh, I think, over 1,000 something, close to a. I mean, Atamel's had 96.9%. So she saw immediately that the party had rejected you. And so she had no place in her party anymore. She had to go and start a party. And then, as people, she kept growing. Of course, as time went on, the party, I don't know whether it's one of the parties who just expunged by the Electoral Commission. I'm not it's sure. It's a near influence in the Kakra. One I mean, American Rawlings, I mean, his. Uh, a lot. Hey. He respected his wife, which is good. You respect your wife, it's good. But it's not everything your wife tells you that is the truth. Now, that is one thing I told President Rawlings that anything that comes from Madame to you as information, let me do a background check of that information before you open your mouth on it especially within our party. Because somebody may have fed her with the wrong information mm. and she <clears> believed <throat> it. But uh, if you make a comment on it at the level where you are as a former president and a very big person in Ghana politics and it turns out to be false or inaccurate, you have disgraced yourself and the organization. So there was an understanding between me and him on that score. So I used to do background checks. Yes. And in the matter of opinion, who they're not the yeah, being, oh, yeah, yeah. Come up with some figures. We we'll do some checks. It's not correct. Don't make any comment on it. You know, maybe Okahuna, I was disliked by Madam, but oh, you were disliked. I still would wish to be her friend. And Simon Casa still. Simon Casa at all. At all. Even the children, nobody wants to know me. All the children passed through my hands working with her in the house. But now they don't want to know you, including the natural You don't talk to her? It's serious, but is it, is I, I let it, it go. It, did you do anything wrong, if you remember? Maybe an allegation was made against me on some issue. I think the president, Rollins himself, commented on that. I call why. I can't say me there's some Tikebi Ananche. Will be better or the bar, the country, and mm -hmm. I, I sort of or the bread or no for the party, but I tried to get the person to take it to Atta Mills instead, as if I'm suggesting that he wouldn't look after the money well or whatever. It was not true. The whole story, he didn't understand it. He didn't understand it. I wanted help for the party. So I was talking to somebody, and that person. 
it turns out to be a corn person. Oh. And the person tried to extort money from me. The like advance fee. And some of them and help, and them help now, but from somebody. No, I no, no. I don't do this advance fee fraud. I'm not part of that category. The person took offense for me to not catch Mrs. Rollins. But I am hinting that he cannot what the bar Rollins be the. Oh. So he got angry about it. And one of the reasons why they started saying that, planning to get rid of me. The person traveled to Ghana to come and tell them. Was there any attempt on your life in that, mm. that process? Nobody tried anything, any move to take your life or blah, blah, blah? Not possible, no. Not with my God. No. Um, somebody tried. Another, we no, tried nothing like that. Tried. Nothing like that. Okay, and see, and I have to be there. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe so. I mean, yeah. Look, I want to know if somebody is planning something against uh -huh. America. That I was in, you know, I mean, that was in. And see, tell me now, a call, it share Rollins for London or Canada be fear, and you none ambition as an. If he make any attempt, I went to him. It was Christmas time for that time. Come okay. on, hamper. We need to send it to him, and he a bon komo bon komo. You know, how he can help by way of advice to John Mahama and all that. I just want to do that somewhere, okay? Yeah. I... No, no, Rollins. Ah, oh, Rollins, okay. No, not for the woman. Nothing happened again. And so, I can't have a corner of crying in the car, and I'm going to cry. Moon shell, God's room, be a movie, maybe in the moon shell, baby. Ah. No, I will go. I just want to do Rollins as well. Ah, yes, yeah. Much, yeah. Ah. You be a cassette, be a. I'll say hello to Madam. And she goes. You just say hello, Madam. Now, what about it, Chinko? Well, his name is Victor Smith. Uh, his Excellency Victor Smith, Ghana's former ambassador to the Czech Republic and also Ghana's High Commissioner to the UK.